So I wanted to do a quick video just on how to discharge the Mavic Air batteries. So this is a, just a cable I got from eBay. It's a B6 charge cable, an XT60 connector and some heat shrink. And then this is the discharger I use, which is an ISD TFT100, which is about 26 pounds. So I just cut off the connectors that it comes with and then I can strip them off and solder them onto the XT60. So I just put some heat shrink on just to tidy up the ends. And then I've got the cable with an XT60, which is the standard sort of cheap battery plug. So to use the uh, discharger, you just connect up the battery. You then push the button twice to turn it on just like normal. And then you plug it into the discharger. And then you can just touch either of the buttons. There's a cell button to select the cell count, which you need 3S. And there's a current button, which you set how the current you want to discharge at which started, I think, with four amps. Uh, I think that when you're flying the Mavic, it's probably running about eight amps or probably higher. So any of these to discharge at four or six amps was fine. I found that the, uh, when you fly the Mavic, the battery comes out pretty warm to touch. Whereas even when I was doing a six amps discharge, it, it doesn't, the battery doesn't get warm at all, so it's fine. The discharger has a little cooling fan built in, so it'll cut in and out as needed. So you'll hear the fan running as the battery discharges. So I did a quick test of the temperature and you can see it's 38 degrees for the uh, discharger. The battery is at 28 degrees. And I think that the, well, 30 on the top um, and the room temperature is I think about 26. So the discharger won't run the battery all the way flat. It'll cut out at 3.8 volts per cell, which is the storage charge level. And when it does that, it beeps to tell you it's finished. And you can, it doesn't, it's cut off already, but you can then unplug it, plug in the next battery, carry on. So on the four amp setting, it took just over 28 minutes. But on the higher, I also ran a, a five amp and a six amp. And uh, I think I'll probably use the six amp because the battery was completely cool afterwards. And it, it just seems fine. The battery's finished with two LED showing on the voltage check, which is 50%, so that's perfect for storage. If you leave the battery unused when it's fully charged, it will, after 10 days, it will, it'll discharge itself, um, but it does that by generating heat. So I don't really like to do that because if it's in a case or something, I'm not comfortable with that. But the, the main thing with the LiPo batteries is not to store them 100% full because over time that will degrade them. So they will start to struggle to deliver higher current. So you'll notice this when flying model planes and helicopters that you'll the full power on the battery and it, it just doesn't hold power for, very, for more than a few seconds. So this is just showing the flashing green light which shows it's discharging on the uh, discharger. On the five amp setting, it takes just over 22 minutes to discharge and the battery came out cold again, so that's why I knew it would be fine to go up to six amps. So I just ran a third battery through just on the six amp setting. So again, you turn on the battery, you can actually leave it plugged in, it makes no difference. As soon as you touch one of the buttons, either cell or current, it'll wake up with the settings it used last. So I've just changed it to six amps and you can see the green flashing light and the fans cut in straight away because the discharger was already warm. So on six amps, it finishes in just under 20 minutes. So I think that's quite, these batteries were 100% full. I charged them up uh, yesterday and then didn't get around to flying. So I just wanted to run them down. So that's why I've done this. But hopefully it's a useful, uh, it's useful for other people. I'll put a link down below onto where I bought the discharger from but you can, any discharger will work. The main thing to look for is a proper discharger that'll handle a decent amount of wattage, like this one is 80 watts, which is six amps at the a 3S pack. Uh, some of the chargers you can buy will do a discharge, but it takes a very long time because they're very low current. So sometimes they'll only discharge at half or even a quarter of an amp. So that would take probably a few hours to discharge each battery and uh, it's just not very practical. Hope that's useful. Any questions, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer them.